going back to our focus on Ghana's economy, where I'm being joined online by William Boa. Boa, thank you, is an economist at the Economics Department at the University of Ghana. Thank you so much, William, for staying with us. Uh, thank you very much. I was sort of looking at the impact of the latest inflation rate for Ghana for the month of September, 11.9% from 11.5% uh, in August. So we saw a rise across uh, all the, you know, the, the basket, the CPI basket, food, non-food, particularly transportation, over 27%. Now, looking at the ripple effect that this could have, what, where would be the first place that we would see an impact? Well, thank you uh, once again. I think if you look at Ghana's uh, performance relating to inflation, I think we have done quite well uh, over the past uh, three years, especially if you relate it to what we did in the 1980s and 1990s. And I think it's quite reflection uh, when you look at inflation within the pre teens and at 11.9%. However, what normally up is the fact that it is not just the inflation figure that matters, but how it reflects on uh, other indicators. For example, we are looking at uh, how inflation will drop down uh, lending rates to be able to uh, get businesses afford uh, credit. But as we have in Ghana now, the average lending rate is 27%. Uh, if you look at it, then it means that there's a gap of uh, about 15 percentage point. And that has been the concern of businesses. So that when we have inflation rates within uh, the single digit, or let's say just at 11%, then we expect that at least we will have uh, the lending rate come down. So that is the first thing that I would say about the fact that inflation is down, but we don't see it in fact when it comes to what happens uh, in the financial market. The second aspect of it, of it is that when you are in Ghana, you realize that people will say, well, inflation is 11%, but prices are going up. I think the understanding is that you may have inflation to be 11.9%, but it does not mean that all prices are at 11.9%. The implication is that some prices are running faster than others, while some are running slowly. So uh, it makes people uh, complain about how reflective the 11.9% is on the ground. So that has been the complaint about uh, 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 inflation, and of course, why the banks are also not willing to reduce their lending rate to reflect the low inflation rate that we've had over the past uh, three now, William, so, um, some analysts say that uh, we are likely to see the inflation rate climb being higher, especially now that there's been a total removal of fuel subsidy and, of course, uh, utility uh, bills going up for water and electricity, uh, where we saw uh, the government also saying that, yes, they have to, uh, for better efficiency, Ghanaians need to pay more for water and power. So to what extent would we see inflation climbing and how bad would it be for the average Ghanaian? Mr. William, can you hear me? Well, 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 I guess we've lost it. Well, thank you so much. We, we appear to have lost uh, William again, uh, technical difficulty here with our phone lines. But we were talking, looking at the latest uh, inflation data out from Ghana.